Hello, and welcome back to Timberborn. If you haven't been following the series so far, Timberborn is a city-building survival game where you have to build a colony of beavers, or a settlement of beavers, that can survive ever-increasing droughts. Where we're at so far, this is a new colony, and we've set up the basics of food and tree production, and we've just survived our first drought. Now, what I would really love is to find a more secure source of water for long droughts. We've got a very basic dam right now that is probably good enough for a few days of drought, but I'd like something that can last much longer. What I would like to do is flood this entire upper river, and that is gonna give us access to all this new land to farm, as well as access to this metal supply up in here. So that's gonna require us to build a tall dam right across here. And we're almost there, we just need to do a little bit more research and start producing some more planks so that we can start building everything. So let's get started. Now, we've got a little bit of basic plank production coming in here with a manual beaver, and we've got a little bit of a supply of planks being produced. Two things, I think we're gonna need some more planks going on. We're also gonna need more trees. Cause I don't think these are, we're just barely starting to get our first growth of plants coming in. And we still have a way until our oak are ready. I think it would be good to expand our tree supply and potentially have another lumber mill. Second thing we need to look at is research. There's one research that we don't have yet. And that's gonna be the triple floodgate. It's gonna require 500 research. That's gonna take a little bit. It would probably help if we had another inventor. And it looks like we have two unemployed beavers, so that's perfect, we can send them on uh, inventing. So that should put us in good track to get that science up. While we're waiting for, to unlock that research, we can start building up the foundation. So what I'm thinking is, we're gonna need the levees, which are gonna be the base. Now, what I'm actually tempted to do, instead of building them there, sometimes when the water comes over, if, if the waterfall is too close to the edge, I notice it will flood the edges. So what I'm thinking is building this dam back one. So back here at this level. So let's go ahead and delete those. I think I made a mistake by planting the trees here. I think longer term, I might get rid of some of these trees and then make this a stairway to get up to this kind of upper river. While we're waiting for that to be built, I'm really thinking of reusing this dead space right here. The berries aren't that valuable and we'd be better served with, I think, more food and potentially trees. I'm thinking food and then maybe keeping the other side for trees. So let's get some of our builders to go ahead and tear these all out. Now, I noticed that I had paused all this lumber up here earlier when there was nothing to lumber, but we actually have some trees to chop down now. So I think we can start staffing some of these and restaff the forester. And if I look over here, I had these temporary foresters. He's still working, so I'll let him finish up here because this will take a while. But we can probably pause these lumberjacks since they've run out of things to, to cut for the most part and they're gonna have a lot more choice up in here and it's gonna be much closer to this production circle you can see how we're doing on the, the foundation perfect we've got about 110 research so we're moving right along on the other side of the river here I'm thinking this would be a good place to build some non manually powered beaver production so we've got a flowing river here. This would be a really good place to maybe put in some water wheels. Just imagine, I'm thinking we have a water wheel here and here. We've got this little strip of space right in here. That would be great for maybe some additional lumber mills. We can fit one here and then one kind of on the other side. Or potentially a gear workshop. So we could have both down here. Maybe start with gear and another lumber mill. 
Something else I'm thinking is, this isn't really a good placement for these two lumberjacks. It made sense in the beginning, but this is kind of like prime real estate. I'm wondering if I can take these out, maybe chop down these two trees that were new, but then just move the lumberjacks in there, and then make this room for storage, where they can drop off all these. And then maybe have another storage on the side or next to it for gears and the timber. Now let's just kind of see what this would look like. So we're going to need two water wheels at the very least. We could potentially then put down some platforms to help the buildings. But this building has to connect to something. And we can't go any farther that way without blocking the road. So what I'm thinking is we could potentially do a lumber mill here, a gear workshop here, and then we have to connect this to here somehow. So one option is you could make another building. Actually, maybe that, that's what we do. So one option is I could put a gear, basically put a platform and have a gear connect the two. Another option would be to just stack multiple buildings in here. So I could have two of these, two lumber mills and a gear workshop. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's good. I think uh, because we're gonna need a lot of lumber later on. Let's go with that route. Now, this is kind of stalled out because we're still using resources elsewhere. So I'm not gonna build these just yet. They're just gonna be our plan for what we're gonna do. So we'll have the foundation being built in the background. And then later on, once all this, our other backlog has been taken care of, we can get to that. How's our main dam doing? Excellent, we got some progress there. And we've got about 174 science to go. Now we've got basically the foundation for this dam all good to go. And we just need that triple piece. So we're just waiting for that science to finish. As soon as we get that science to finish, then we can go ahead and start building the last part. Other thing we can start looking at is how to get up to this top basin. So we need a lot of stairs. And I hate to do this since I just planted all these oaks. And they still have some time to grow. They're about 30% of the way through. But that's a long time to wait. I'm, I'm thinking what we could do is build some stairs here. We could build it here too, but they'd have to go through the damn water to get all the way up. So what I'm doing is I'm thinking we would need two platforms here, one platform here, and then we could build all the stairway all the way up to the height we need. So we would need to tear out... Is that right? Two there, one there, one stair there, and then one to get onto the stairs. So I think we need to tear out these. So we can handle that while we're waiting for the research to finish. And we're about halfway through, so we're making good progress. Our build queue is starting to clear up, so we can finally start building some of these things that we wanted to a while ago. I'm thinking what we'll do is have two large piles here and here. One of these is going to be for planks, one of them is going to be for all this uh, lumber that gets produced. Then we'll have the two lumber mills or here and here, populating this one, and a gear workshop down at the last place. And then two water wheels powering them both. It looks like we've almost gotten through our supply of timber here. How long do we have until these are ready? 24%. So we've got a few days still, unfortunately. And we've got a few days on these as well. So we can temporarily fill the gap with these oak trees and these few trees here. So I'm going to hold off probably in building these other manufacturing, just because we don't have none of the money yet. Something that we should probably do, though, is build a new home. Because I always want like a pipeline of children, like growing beavers coming in. And you can see we only have two now. And we have zero empty beds. And we always seem to be needing more, more beavers to work. So let's build another home kind of up here.
for our lumber sources, I'm thinking this one is going to be the logs, and this one is going to be our planks. While we're waiting for the research, let's go ahead and finish that stairs. So I think we've got enough backlogged resources, that's going to be no problem. So what I'm thinking is basically this. Up there. And if we build the road like that, they can now get up. And right now this is all dead, but as soon as we flood that water, it's going to get very green up here. And it looks like our next drought is coming earlier than thought. So we've got three days until the next drought appears. I don't think we're going to get this new dam done in time. But that's alright, because last time we got through the drought no problem. I think this water is going to be more than enough for the number of beavers that we have. But it will be bonus points if we do. If we can. We'll see. We've got two and a half days now to get this dam done. And we still don't have the research done yet. Otherwise, we're looking pretty good. We've got some water, we've got the pumps, we've got a very good supply of food going into here. We've got 66 unbaked potatoes, which be good shape. Really the only thing that I'd like to see more is more lumber, which we've just run out of trees because we just, we've clear cut everything. And we've done it, we've got 500 research. So we've got two days to go. Can we build this dam in time? Let's see. Let's unlock that triple floodgate, and then we want right there. So the beavers should be able to get to each. They can just walk down, and we've got four builders. We should be able to build this pretty quick. And I think we've got enough resources for most of it. Thirty logs each. Yeah, we're gonna run out of logs. We're gonna make a big dent. I think we're gonna get at least a couple of these done. What other trees can we chop down? We got these. Maybe those. Not sure if they're close enough for them. We'll build a temporary roads so they can get there. They can, in theory, chop all those down. Let's go ahead and, and do that. Oh, we're delivering the planks now. It's a good sign. We might have our first floodgate coming in. There we go. Okay, they gotta get three more of these built. So, given that timeline, I don't think we're gonna make it in time for the drought. But that's alright, we've got more than enough water left. Now you can see that already, even just with one of these blocking the supply of water, we're creating a backlog. And you can see this water is already starting to rise up. It used to be below this level, and it's already going up. And as it does, you can see this green is already starting to expand. So you can imagine once it gets all the way up high here like this, it's going to be even farther back. And you can also see why I wanted to push this back a little bit behind the rocks. Because sometimes the water, when it floods through, it will kind of go off the edge, and it can lead to accidental flooding. There's our second floodgate coming in. You can see it's pushing the backlog up even more already. We've arrived at the drought, and we just didn't make it in time. Almost. You can see we almost built three of them. So water is going to drain down here pretty quickly. But by next drought, we're going to be in a much better spot. And you can see we've gone through most of our supply... Uh, of timber and and logs just to build that. It's all gone. We have just a little bit of planks left. We've still got a few days before these pines are ready to be harvested again. We've got almost. We're, we're getting pretty close to being able to harvest down here for these pines. But yeah, basically all our logs and planks are gone. They all went into this. We only have one left to go, so we only need eight more logs and 15 more planks. How's our water looking? Draining pretty quick. We're pumping the water out very quick for our population. You can see, this isn't a ton left. We've still got two days to go. 
we do need some more water in there, so we don't have much backlog of water. Just throw down one more pump, just in case. Something I forgot to do is mark that they're actually allowed to cut all these down. These are going to be ready soon. And we are just out of logs. We just need a couple more trees, and then we could finish that up. But we've clear-cut everything we could possibly use. I, I'm thinking this tree is going to be the one that gets us to the finish line. It's going to be finished in a day and give eight logs. And you can see where it helps to have a set of trees that you're growing that finish at different times. For example, if I went all in on oaks, and while they give like a ton of logs, because it takes so long to produce, you end up with these periods of like uh, feast or famine. And so to, to kind of spread it out, it helps to have kind of a mix of trees that you're growing. Final day of the drought, and I think we're just gonna make it. You can see we've barely got any water left in the river. And you can see the oak, it's been finally chopped down. We've got four logs. That may be enough to just finish that, finish our mega dam. Let's see, one more log and five more planks. And the last trees are finally finishing. It's good, okay. That's gonna put us just over the finish line. And just in time for the drought ending. So as this fills up, we can fill the entire basin. And we made it. So we've got enough water. This is gonna be finishing today on the last day of the drought. Yeah, we just made it. You can see this. Let's actually lower this all the way to let some water in for right now. You can see we just made it through that drought. One more day and we would have been out of water. See, all our crops would have died. See, these don't last very long without water. 1.8 days. Trees can usually last longer. 11.2 days. But let's run this water through here first. And then we're going to start finally using our new dam. And what's really nice about this is what you can do is for these dams, you can control the height. So we can use this as almost like a stockpile of water during the drought period. We can keep this full and just trickle out water throughout the drought just so we keep this segment area here full. Okay, we've got the water we care about finished. Let's go ahead and start stockpiling that water. And look at that. So we've got the water all nice and backlogged. We've got our dam working, which a little bit of flood. Let's see. Might have to turn that down a little bit. It could also just take a little bit to run through because sometimes it gets overwhelmed in the beginning. Let's give it a little moment to see if this just naturally flushes through the system. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Now it's all drying. Much better. So I think that's a good stopping point for now. We've got a pretty good extra supply of water. We just barely made it through that drought, but I think we're in a much better shape for the future droughts going forward. We're finally starting to get a payoff from all these extra foresters. I think we're good to, to start expanding now. We've got a lot of extra research, a lot of potential things we can do, but I'm kind of eyeing this land up here and I'm kind of interested in these ruins and checking these out. So hope this was interesting and hope to catch you next time.